So here's a walkthrough of the Catalina data set uh, that we captured back in October of 2016. Um, this was flown at uh, 100 meters, so around 320 feet. Um, the path of the UAS uh, was it's called a, a crosshatch. So we flew um, in this kind of southwest to northeast orientation, and then we flew a um, northwest to southeast orientation, kind of like you would mow a lawn. Um, this is the model itself. Now we focus primarily on this, the, the Marine Sciences Institute here. Um, so we ended up flying over the water, which is the area that you're interested in. Um, but that wasn't our primary capture. So I would say if this is something that you're interested in pursuing, then we would want to go do a dedicated capture over this area. Because you can see out in this region, the, the UAS pretty much stopped right around here. So um, even though it got images out here, it was not the focus area. Um, so what you can see is specifically around the shoreline. Um, the I think one of the more probably interesting parts of this is um, where the water meets the shoreline. So what you can see is this is the, the model itself. And then this is the um, untextured uh, view of it. And what you do, what you do see is that from a polygonal point of view, from a, you know, this is terrain versus not, um, it's pretty difficult to differentiate um, the the, the beach area or the land surface and the water surface. Um, however, this is where the segmentation algorithms come in so that we can actually be able to identify um, using color parameters and other attributes where the water indeed is um, in this area um, versus where it's butting up against the shoreline. Um, so that's, that's kind of what the the data is. Um, this is still a relatively low res version. Um, I did have some images out over the water and I will try to get those and upload them um, because the, one of the interesting areas for the students that we were teaching was actually the shoreline right here. And if I recall, there was a very high detailed version of that that would I think give you some additional clarity. So um, here's another example um, of where it goes up right against the shoreline. Um, and basically, what we can do is, is look at the planar properties of the polygons, um, and that gives us a really good idea as to what, what is water and what isn't. Um, and uh, it's kind of difficult to see with the wireframe view, but without the wireframe view, you can kind of see basically a lot of perturbation here um, that you don't see over here. Um, and it's not the case that that's always true, and this is always going to be land, and that's always going to be water but it's a, a general rule of thumb. And actually, it's this is a very calm area, so when there's more wave action, it's even easier to delineate. So um, I'll upload a new version when I, when I have it.